Hey everyone, Kevin here with an update for you from the White House. Kevin Hassett was just on an interview with CNBC's Becky Quick, and Kevin Hassett directly responded to Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell's interview on 60 Minutes yesterday. Well, I broke down that interview yesterday on 60 Minutes, and in that 60 Minutes interview, Jerome Powell said, hey, here's the thing. This economy is probably going to be struggling until we either get a vaccine in everybody's arm, and we don't see that happening until 2021, and basically it's going to be through 2021 that this economy sort of, you know, takes to recover. Now, you don't want to bet against America, but what we need to do as Congress and as the central banks is do whatever we can to help, quote, prevent a avoidable insolvencies, which is just a really fancy way of saying we need to help the people who are getting screwed. The households who have to stand in line at food banks because they're unemployed and they can't make ends meet with the obligations and expenses they have, especially the home child care they need to deal with, and they're taking care of their children themselves. It's hard to go out to work. Child cares are closed. It's a disaster. Small businesses are having trouble because there are no customers right now. And Jerome Powell's like, look, if, if we don't help these people, that is any kind of person who's affected by this, which is a massive amount of people in the country. If we don't help the people who are struggling and the businesses who are struggling, we're going to see lasting damage to our economy. And that's why we need more stimulus in so many words, right? You could see my full breakdown. I'll uh, link that in the description down below. But here's Kevin Hassett's response. Kevin Hassett responded by uh, first saying, so I guess I disagree that it's going to take all the way through the end of 2021. Then he kind of claps back at Jerome Powell and the bankruptcy argument. He says, well, Jay, finally, he mentioned that we need to avoid bankruptcies with our fiscal policy. Well, that's exactly what we've been doing. That's what Kevin Hassett said, that, well, that's exactly what we've been doing. Then he says, quote, the Fed and the Treasury have a massive amount of money left on their Main Street lending program, which is designed to do exactly that for sort of big firms. And for small firms, the PPP small business loans are also there. And there's a lot of money left over in these. Basically, they were able to provide liquidity to small businesses and they have their Main Street lending program. And therefore, everything's good is what Kevin Hassett at the White House is saying. I look, I don't want to take political sides here. But this is bullcrap. Like, this is not left, right, or center. I want the economy to be great, okay? I want to believe what Kevin Hassett is saying. But broski, the Main Street lending program doesn't help small businesses, and he knows that. It helps medium businesses, like 500-plus employees. Those, those are pretty big businesses, right? That Main Street lending program hasn't even opened yet. Why is JCPenney going bankrupt? Why is JCPenney closing one-third of its stores? Because the lending program, oh, look, I mean, maybe JCPenney was going downhill anyway, okay? But that, this is just the start of the bunch. And the point is, the Main Street lending program isn't even up yet. And now when we talk about small businesses, really? The Paycheck Protection Program? Eight weeks of payroll funding? But there are no customers for businesses. And in order for businesses to qualify to get the forgivable loan, you look around and you go, uh, I got to get all my employees back here by June 30th. Well, if you don't get all your employees back, your loan becomes less forgivable. It's a disaster. Then what happens after those eight weeks if customers don't come back? I think Kevin Hassett, like, I hope Kevin Hassett sees this video because I really think, I, I don't know why, I really think this is like a political filter. This is, this is not an economic advisor anymore saying, hey, uh, you know, the data says things are good. Medical data is good. You know, we're helping here, 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 here. And, and then directly talking about stimulus checks, which is what we need to stimulate where people are hurting the most. Instead, he's talking through this filter about how great the economy is going to be leading into the election and next year, thanks to the White House's policies. But dude, the programs you're referencing is helping prevent bankruptcies. One of them's not even up yet. And the second one only works for eight weeks and has strict requirements. That 75% has to go to payroll and people are struggling to get their employees back because they're collecting unemployment. Can't blame them. And then even if employees go to work, it's like, what are they supposed to do? Mop the floor? There are, there's a fraction as many customers. Every single day, there are news articles about how restaurants basically have like one fourth the capacity because of social distancing rules. A lot of them are like, why am I even gonna bother opening? At one fourth capacity, I'd have to have dinner service all day long. 
But guess what? People don't want dinner all day long. See, and it's like, it, 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 I almost feel like Kevin Hassett here has disconnected a little bit from reality. There's too much of a, f a political filter going on here, especially at the same time when we have a Harvard Caps Harris poll that finds that 65% of voters surveyed believe the economy is still on the wrong track compared to only 27% who said it's on the right track. And you have 69% uh, who describe the economy as weak, including 58% of Republicans. So you have a majority of people, a, a super majority of the people, and a majority of Republicans who say the economy is weak. Seriously, Kevin Hassett? Like, this isn't even Democrat versus Republican. This doesn't even make sense, what he's saying. Okay, now let's talk about what he suggested about the fourth bill. So he says that we are, uh, quote, we're, we're also working closely with a lot of Democrats. We've had a lot of moderate Democrats on phone calls over the last few weeks where we've talked about their policy ideas. This is interesting. So we want to look to see who the moderate Democrats are. Now, we don't know who they were on the phone with, but I can tell you the Rent Cancellation and Mortgage Cancellation Act, not moderate Democrats. The uh, Boost Act, that ABC Boost Act with the debit card with money per month, that's not moderate Democrats. Uh, now, one of these, there's there's Ro Khanna and, and Tim, uh, who did the Emergency Money for the People Act. I think Tim is a little bit more moderate. Maybe, maybe he could have been on that phone call. I remember we passed that per petition. Ro Khanna's maybe a little bit more on the left side, okay? Like, I, it's hard for me to place these two. They're definitely not as extreme as the other ones, but uh, Ro Khanna's probably a little bit more than Tim. Anyway... Maybe, if since Tim was the author, or at least he's the listed author of the uh, Emergency Money for the People Act, that $2,000 per month stimulus check one, maybe they're, they're having conversations there. But today, once again, Kevin Hassett circled back to, we're in wait and see mode, which we originally heard them say they're on wait and see mode, and then we kind of refuted that because obviously the White House is on wait and see mode. They can't do anything until Congress passes a bill, right? They're like basically on mandatory timeout. And then they're in timeout going, you know, I'm, I'm just going to chill over here for right now. You know, I, I got, a, what is it, a five minute timeout? Oh, yeah. I, you know, I just feel like waiting here for five minutes. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? Now, on top of that, he also had discussions with several other reporters. And The Hill reported that Kevin Hassett suggested again that, quote, a future stimulus package may not be needed to address the economic damage caused by the novel coronavirus pandemic. I, I'm just blown away. Like, uh, I, I really hope Congress doesn't follow this kind of lead, but this is, this is bad. This is not good news coming from the White House uh, economic advisor. And I'll tell you, he was giddy in the interview. And I think he's giddy because the stock market's skyrocketing. You know, the stock market's up uh, heavily today because of the Mo uh, Moderna vaccine trials, the, the phase, uh, uh, f you know, now going into phase three trials because of successful trials on eight people. Look, I don't know about you, and this makes me want to make sure that my life insurance is up to snuff, which if you don't have that yet, go to the link down below, get yourself life insurance. At the same time, get two free stocks with Weeble. Two free stocks! All you have to do is open an account with Weeble, open a cash account, forget margin for now, open a cash account with Weeble, deposit $100 and you get two free stocks. It could take a little bit. Sometimes it takes like four to eight business days for your money to settle and then you get your two free stocks. It's anywhere between $12 and $1,400 once your um, $100 settles. And then of course, join me in the programs linked down below. We've got an awesome coupon code for you and folks, uh, we will see you in the next video, hopefully with better news. Thanks for watching. Bye.